I grew up in the great state of Maine, in Falmouth Foresight outside of Portland. Our food was basically meat, potatoes, canned vegetables in the 50s. There was nothing special about it. We got a lot of fish though. The docks at the end of our street, lobster, haddock, cod. There's only so much of that you can eat. My mother came from Boston and loved Italian food. My father, every Sunday night, would drive into Portland and bring back spaghetti and meatballs with an antipasto. We'd watch TV, the Ed Sullivan Show, Bonanza. Couldn't have been more perfect. We also brought pizza. And everybody in the world loves pizza. Now, we moved down to Boston, and Boston had a, actually had a little bit of a small neighborhood, but pretty, pretty sizable at the same time. And we would, every Friday night, we'd meet my father, and he would take us to a different restaurant. My father would have this incredible gift, the gift of parking. He could park any place in the world. <laughs> and, and, and usually right out in front of where we're going. Little Italy, it's like small streets, crowded with people. And, and one day we go, he goes, there's a parking space. Pulls up in front of this restaurant, George's. Guys outside looks at us with a surly card. But we get out, there's six kids, my beautiful mother, my father, who's a strange gentleman. And my father says, what's the food like in here? He says, you wouldn't like it. So we'll decide on it. We go in, he looks in his nose, there's seats everywhere. And we sit down and there's no one in the place. Thank you. No one. We order the spaghetti, meatballs, the pizza, and there's the guys in a bar next door and they can see through the doorway. They look just, they look a bit rough. Sitting there, and my father doesn't doesn't pay any attention. He's from Maine. He doesn't think anything about my mother's obvious nervous. And the guys come out and like they're glaring at us, like eat your food and get the fuck out of here. And all of a sudden, this song comes on, uh, Harry Belafonte's Yellow Bird, and my mother starts singing to it. Every guy from the bar came out of the bar and sat and watched her as my mother. I loved, she had beautiful pipes. She one time silenced a choir at a cathedral singing Ave Maria. They applauded her, put more dimes and, and into the street box. We did, they drank wine, they had a beautiful night. And we'd go to George's all the time and we were treated like royalty. And the owner, we, we always got a parking space out in front of And the owner would say, Thank you for coming. The songbird is here. Now we can have a good night. There was never anybody ever sitting at the other tables. Just us and the guys in the bar. Years go by, and I become a hippie. I go to college, and I said, this friends, and I said, let's go to Little Italy in Boston. And I go place George's. Long hair. I show up to the door, and the guy says, no hippies. And one of the guys back, George says, that's a songbird's kid. You look like your mother now. He says, where's your mother? She says, she's home. She, says, she doesn't come here anymore. Says, you know, she's getting older, but she, her voice is still as beautiful. Come on in, come on in. Your friends are welcome. Uh -huh. Come on, sit down. Manja. We're eating there. And he says, he says, uh, you know, one of the great things, you know, the parking spot is still outside. Empty. And we had a beautiful meal. And George sits down and says, your mother's voice. I could I tell you that. That was like an angel. Angel singing. I said, yeah, and my friends would get up and says, you know, I asked him, I said, you know, I was always surprised there was a parking space out in front. He said, that was my parking space. I said, well, why do you have a parking space? Said, what do you think? I control the street. This is, this is my neighborhood. And I said, Mafio, so dawn. No one parks in this park. Says, and you live in parking Your mother's voice was so beautiful. She could park, she could have parked in the restaurant as long as she was sick. She says, you're always welcome here, kid. 
Don't bring your hippie friends. Get a haircut. Tell your mother I said hello. Here's to my mother and George, my father. Park wherever you want. <laughs>